everybody welcome back to the channel what we have here today is a uh, quite an ugly guitar but this thing is so ugly it's actually pretty badass and cool I think anyway this is a Dean Tyrant it is a Michael Amott guitar this is the cheap Chinese version of this guitar Dean makes a much more expensive model of this Dean Tyrant but you know I I love Arch Enemy. I think that they write some great stuff. I really dig the guitars. Uh, Alyssa White Glues is a really cool singer and uh, front person. And Michael Ama and Jeff Loomis are a wonderful guitar duo. Just an all-around great band. They put out consistently amazing uh, music and videos. This is the Dean Tyrant. You can pick these things up for like 400 bucks, man. They're, they are very affordable. I put some different pickups in it. This guitar comes stocked with DMT pickups, which are the Dean uh, Indonesian or Chinese pickups. But I, I had these black winter pickups. Uh, as you can tell, these Seymour Duncans have kind of a gothic font to the Seymour Duncan. So it's kind of the death metal font but these black winter pickups I had uh, and I put these in there and man these pickups scream they are super super heavy high output pickups the blood splatter paint job is probably a wrap underneath this paint or a decal of some sort obviously they didn't hand paint this but um, looks pretty decent pretty looks pretty cool I like that it's got a string through bridge got something like a tunematic style bridge where you can adjust the intonation the body is made out of made out of a wood called tarantang uh, kind of a weird name for wood tarantang sounds kind of inappropriate um, tarantang is found on the Solomon Islands which is an Asian island it is a very inexpensive uh, wood but it's made and uh, they make a lot of uh, furniture cabinets uh, musical instruments they make plywood out of it but tarantang is is a is a decent wood that's stable and sturdy for various things the solomon islands are actually the cheap they are the poorest uh part of asia it's like the poorest asian country uh, out there so when China makes these guitars, they probably get that wood for absolutely nothing. So that, that explains why a lot of these guitars are so inexpensive. Now the, the fretboard uh, is made out of Granadillo, which is from Mexico. And it's a rosewood alternative. And now Granadillo is actually kind of endangered. It's on the very endangered list, so we might not see any Granadillo fretboards. But it, it kind of has a rosewood um, appeal to it and sort of a rosewood look. This thing needs some lemon oil to darken up a little bit. And the neck is made out of maple. So Granadillo fretboard, maple neck. Twenty-two frets on the fretboard. None of these frets are high. It, this thing was received uh, in excellent condition. I've owned it now for a couple of years. No fret sprout. Thing is, was set up nice. It's actually a, a nice quality guitar for the money. Dean is probably the uh, not a Dean fan. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I think they're it's a polarizing guitar. Dean makes some polarizing shapes. I think uh, the headstock is probably one of the the worst attributes of a Dean guitar. I just you know it's, you could row a boat with this thing. But it definitely ranks up there as one of my spookiest, scariest guitars for the Halloween season. Let's flip this thing over and take a look at the back, okay? Let's check it out. Okay, here's the back side. As you can see, this is uh, it's really an interesting cutout, I mean, for a V-shape. It's kind of got these hooks. It's painted really well. It kind of feels like an Ibanez. Ibanez have got like that really thick patented paint jobs at the paint job that they put on their guitars feels very much like an Ibanez there's the ferrules for the string through body these are typical Chinese pots and there's a three-way switch 
you can see I've I didn't have any uh, any problem getting the, the new pickups wired in I put some electrical tape on it just to make sure there wasn't any grounding issues typical Chinese small pots body routing looks nice and clean neck plate on the back has got a Dean logo on it got the strap button here and we've got this other strap button right there back of the neck typical maple neck it's got Grover tuners there's the made made in China stamp on it so yeah you know Grover tuners maple neck Granadillo fretboard might be some cheap wood in this body and some cheap pots but it wouldn't take any effort to put in some nicer pots these work fine for now so I'm gonna leave those there but there's plenty of room in there to put larger pots if needed this is a shredder guitar if you're an arch enemy fan you can pick these things up relatively inexpensive and they play really nice they're just hard to find a case for that fits this weird shape and uh, you know kind of hard to sit down with like most V's but if it's your thing I recommend uh, checking them out let's see how this baby sounds Thank you. 